All right, guys, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the, the series motor, but we're going to go over like loose connections. Uh, so obviously it's a motor over time. It's going to vibrate and some of those connections may come loose. Um, so let's take a look at each of them and see what's going to happen to the motor. So we've got the series motor and we've got our series winding right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a loose connection right here at A. So that'll be our first loose connection. That'll be from our supply there. Then for our series, we got S1 and S2. And my second loose connection, I'm gonna do at B. And then the only other component we have is the armature. So we've got the brushes that are sitting on the commutator. These guys are A1 and A2. And then this final connection here that I'm going to open is going to be C. And so what I want you guys to do is just uh, simply look at the circuit and see whether you can figure out what's going to happen at each of these different points, at A, B, and C. So if you have an open at A, what's going to happen to the motor? If we have an open at B, what's going to happen to the motor? When we have an open at C, what's going to happen at the motor? So pause the, the video for two seconds, do a quick little diagram, and then write down what you feel is going to happen to the motor. Uh, in my class, we play a game called bomb or no bomb. So we just need to look at the, the circuit and decide whether it's going to become a bomb or not a bomb, um, whether it's going to come to a complete stop or whether it's going to take off and rip itself apart. So get ready to play bomb or no bomb with the series motor. Let's go back to the shop, guys. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we'll take the series DC motor and based off that diagram that we just went through, uh, we're going to open at A, so A is the conductor coming in from the supply. We're going to make an open at B next, and then we'll make an open at C. You'll notice that I'm wearing gloves uh, because every motor is a generator, right? As soon as this guy is up and running, it's generating a voltage, and the last thing I need to do is put myself into that circuit now. So let's see what happens if we have an open at A, A being the supply from the source. Just kills power to the motor. Okay, we'll reconnect there. That seems intuitive, right? It's a series circuit. We we'll break the circuit at any point and the current will stop flowing. Let's see the, the break at B. B is from S2 to A1. Okay, well that also kills power to the motor and the motor comes to a stop. Okay, so Open at this side, motor comes to a stop. Mo open here, motor comes to a stop. Well, it makes sense that if we open here that the motor will come to a stop as well, but let's just take a look. Yeah. If we open the circuit anywhere in a series circuit, then the current will stop flowing through both this electromagnet and this electromagnet, right? The outside and the inside magnet, and it comes to a stop. 